So this story has been going viral since yesterday. Oh, very new. And obviously this is being released tomorrow. Okay. So this is for anyone who it's been coming up on your For You page and you're like, what is actually happening here? I'm so, so confused as to what's going on. So it's a Twitter thread and like Twitter's a weird one for going viral because it's like, is it viral or is it in your own little space? But I feel like I'm seeing a lot of threads lately yeah, and yeah. it's like, these are 10 things that you need to look out for or 10 movies you need to watch to reset your mindset and you know, all this sort of stuff. I'm saving every single fucking one of them, but I don't know if these people are smart or not. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have no seven saved. I have yeah. to go back to it when I'm bored. Yeah. When I'm 97. <laughs> yeah. So this went viral on Reddit and obviously things from Reddit always transfer over to Twitter, but mm. when I read this, I'm not joking, I was curled up in a ball howling okay for so long right. and I sent you something last night and I asked you not to not to click which into I it, didn't just to remind me to do this mm-hmm. so if you have if you've heard this story like I don't even know what to title it it's one of these um not so much am I the assholes but it's one of these kind of it's called T-I-F-U so I don't actually know what that stands for T-I-F-U okay but it's one of those threads on reddit anyway right where people are looking for advice okay so it's an advice thread on Reddit. So a girl reposted saying, please read this and then listen to the song. You are not prepared for the song. Right. Okay. So the story goes like this. My 20, um, 20 year old female girlfriend of two years told me that the music that I, 25 male, play during sex is weird and a major turn off. A little backstory. When I first started having sex, I researched into ways to be better as I was, have, as I was a little stiff and pretty much had no idea what I was doing. I read online that you can play music and match the rhythm in order to put on a better performance. I searched lovemaking songs and started slowly creating a playlist in which I was comfortable matching the rhythm. (laughs) Sorry, it's just because I know. Uh, There are a few songs to my playlist. However, there is one song in particular which actually happens to be my favourite that my girlfriend hates and says turns her off in a major way. Right. I don't understand why it has taken her two years to tell me that she hates the song. It's a good lovemaking song with good rhythm. I feel the way I fucked up is I could have possibly asked her previously if she likes the playlist or any songs she'd like to add or change. But to leave it for two years thinking our sex life is great, but in her eyes um, has just been ruined by my music, has left the whole situation feeling awkward and I'm a bit annoyed. I pretty much played this tune every single time, so the amount of times she must have not been enjoying it when I thought the complete opposite is annoying but also embarrassing. Mm. Not to mention my previous partners, however... They never complained about the song, so maybe it's just her. Okay. It's fucked up the relationship, to be honest, because sex feels awkward now. The other day, when we were having sex with no music, but I was still thrusting to the tune, playing in my head, she recognised this and asked (gasps) me to stop. I thought the song was perfect, and I always thrust along with the tune. And I feel that's really important. I always thrust along with the tune. Okay. And I feel it gives me the perfect rhythm for doing the deed too. I usually bust to this song and I find it devastating now that she hates it. And then, okay. Oh my God, everything is starting to make sense. So are you guys ready? Because I saw a video yeah. of a girl yeah. playing a song in the background and, and she was like, no, yes! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for anybody who hasn't heard this or hasn't heard the song, get ready. Okay. You need a free oh. audio book with oh. your Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> it's the ads. Get ready. It's the ads, actually. I have to, <laughs> sorry, wait for the ads. Oh, Subway ad. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. It's going well, It guys. could have been um, Killian Murphy. By the way, T-I-F-U means today I fucked up. Oh, Jesus. This is not off to a good start. I guess better. Oh. Long intro. <laughs> This is where the first one starts. Oh. uh, That's the exact song that I saw on that video and I didn't know what it meant. I can see why she recognised it without the music. Oh my giddy aunt. Hello 
Oh, and you're very welcome along to the Unpopular Opinion Podcast. My name is Jen, and if Carla can get it together, her name is Carla. <laughs> two years. Two fucking years. I can see why she hates it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's the name of that song? <laughs> you sent me the link, actually. It begins with H. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's called Seabot, and it's my Hudson Mohawk. Hudson Mohawk. Right, yeah. there you go now. <laughs> If you're looking for a bit of inspiration. <laughs> um, I'm back in the room. I'm delighted. You're back in the room. Um, oh, last week was a nightmare. <coughs> I sounded like I was on Mars. Yeah, last week was very bad, guys. Apologies. I did um, warn you in the description. <coughs> yeah, and, and, that. and that forgives everything. The yeah, description exactly. forgives everything. Just if you bothered to read it, you would know why I sounded like I was on Mars. <laughs> wow. You finally tested negative. Well, it was very faint on Wednesday, but... Like, work wouldn't let me in in case I took the whole unit down. So I was working from home all week, which was an experience. So did you have it? No, I didn't. I just, because I was a close contact and there was no guarantee that I wasn't going to get it. Yeah. How me and Do- Bobby dodged it? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, that is We strange. just, we completely do- dodged it. I That's don't know. Strange. Unless if we had it before. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. The minute... I did, made him do the test last night and we were like, sure, it was absolutely negative. I sent him up on Betty Boy's duty. I was like, get the fuck. <laughs> get Betty the Boy's duty. Fuck up downstairs and put that child to bed. I've been doing it for a week and a half and he takes the piss with me. He does this thing oh, okay. where he's like, and I probably should just try and get into it, like, you know, the, the habit of him just putting him to bed and saying, right, night, night, I'm walking out. And then I've just heard so many horror stories of the kids walking out of the room and then having to sit at the top of the stairs to make sure that they're asleep before you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we've, because we initially lived in my ma's. Yeah. And he was in my bedroom. It just, we just got into the habit of me being there with him until he falls asleep, which is nothing wrong with that either. It just takes a long fucking time. Yeah. Because he does this thing. I'm actually thinking about recording it, you know, like my little bo- goggle box thing with him. Because the shit that he gets up to. Oh, really? Yeah, like he does this thing where he's like, I want to tell you something. And then he'll come over and whisper in my ear, let's get donuts tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. And then he'll do it like five oh, Five times. or six times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I, I'm like, come here, I want to tell you something. And then I'll be like, go to sleep. And he'll be like, no, I want to tell you something. Oh. Yeah, so it's just, it's a constant. But one of the, it, it can be funny as well. He's like, I want to tell you something. See that fucking blue wall over there? <laughs> He's a lo- like, yeah. He's a lunatic. He is. He was on our Patreon last week. He was great. A lot of fans. A lot of fans. A lot of fans. They all um, think that he's the social Very advanced. Week. It's very yeah. jarring. I know, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, sh- I feel like He's I not just- even three. No. I feel like I should just bring him over to you one of the days and leave him here. <laughs> like, oh. Bye! I'd be like... You get great crack out of me. Yeah, with, I would. You know? uh, to be honest, I would. He is, a good, he is a good crack child. I will say yes. that. But it is it is jarring because I'm expecting him to be so much... Yeah, like less developed than he is. But he is... He's very, very... He has his wits about him. It's like, you can't do a thing. I went to collect him from my ma's the other day. And he came up to me and he was just like, me finger! And I was like, what happened to you? And before my ma could get in there, Nana, close the door! So he's a little rat. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, my dad had a, like a cushion up against his face so that he, Bobby couldn't see him laugh. And it was like, it, and it wasn't that, that was after happening. It was how he ratted on her within three seconds of mm-hmm. me walking through the door. Yeah. And she was like, no, I didn't close it on his fingers. I opened the door and his hand was on the floor and it went under a little bit. Oh, okay. So he was, no, he's fine. Like there's no actual physical evidence. If he couldn't talk, she would have gotten away with that one. <laughs> But he can. He would have just been crying. I don't know what's wrong with him. Jesus, <clears throat> now he's just been a bit cranky today. Maybe he has the COVID. <laughs> he would have been like, perfect. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we're back to normal now. Well, I'm off most of next week because my parentals are going on their holidays. So I've no childminder, which is great. Oh, super. Yeah. Well, he starts his, his free year in play school. So I have like a couple of hours free during the day. Delighted. How many hours do they go to play school for? For the free ECCE year, it's like 9 to 12, so it's like three hours. But he goes to crash three days a week, so it's okay. three full days and then two little. Okay, so a yeah. bit of time. Yeah, it's grand. Yeah. Get, your, get your little errands done. Get your errands done, you'll be yeah, absolutely exactly. fine. Yeah. So, Sorry for going on. <laughs> <We don't laughs> Sorry about that. It's grand. Sorry, my throat is... I was I was smoking Mayfair. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You were at EP yesterday. Yeah, I was at EP yesterday, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, very interesting. How was that? It was good. Like, it's weird when you're not camping. Yeah. It's weird when you you're... working. Yeah, I'll be... Yeah, so I'll be back again tomorrow. <clears throat> so, and tomorrow I'll actually be attending, do you know? Okay. Yeah, so I was on a site visit yesterday, but it was... Um, I've never been to EP. Neither have I. And it's so... I thought it was going to be a much younger demographic than it was, but then I don't know. Everybody was like, no, I'll wait until Saturday and Sunday. Mm. Because the... Like, it was strange. So yesterday... They had to, like, nobody got into the main, well, apart from, <laughs> long story, but uh, we were floating around the main, where the main stages were. Yeah. Because we were very lost. Um, but they weren't letting any campers through the campsite. Okay. Because they they still were, they were really behind and set up. Right. So, like, at one point, I was so confused because I was like, is this the main stage? And, the, and like... I was with my friend, my friend Ali goes a lot and she was like, yeah, this is the main stage. And I was like, it's just a lot more. I was like, so where does everyone go? And she was like back. So she was trying to show me and I was like, but while we were doing that, they were putting down, you know, the wood chips. Yeah. So they still haven't put down the wood chips while I'm standing there questioning what's going on with the main stage. Right. And this is quite late in the day. So yeah. they were a little, they were a little bit behind. Um, And I could see it because... Because it was a big clusterfuck. Anyway, we were walking around. We did many, many steps yesterday because there was just so much confusion. Um, because we were there on a site visit, there was so much confusion as to what door and who and where mm. and what and what was going on. So we ended up pretty much walking the whole of the, the festival 35 times over and ending up in places that we weren't supposed to be. Um, which was funny at the time. Looking back now, like that was gas. But yeah, I was very kind of like, this is mad now. And then when it did fill up, I was still like, this isn't that busy. But they didn't have anybody on the main stage until half six. Right, okay, that's fair. So, yeah, that's fair, but there's so it's so big. Is it? It's a huge campus. Jesus. It's massive. I feel like you would need the full weekend to find all the little niggly bits, because we kept stumbling across things and being like, oh, that's savage, what's that? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Like, it's very, because it's in, like, because of the grounds, and it's always been the same grounds, but I think they've just expanded. I'm not really sure what the ah, situation Ah, yeah, if they get more, like, they, yeah. they get more sponsors and yeah. brand deals every yeah. year. Like. Yeah, because every, like, every brand had their own stage. Right. So it was really, like, Topo Chico had, like, a little stage. Uh, Bacardi had a stage, Castle Bacardi. Coke had their own DJ thing set up. I was like, oh, there's loads, loads of mad shit going on. There was, like, a Mambo place that had their own thing going on. Right. Yeah. So they probably, you know, like, did you have... Kind of, I don't mean to say they're less than, but you know, sometimes they'll have like Irish dancing performers yeah, that might just yeah. do a set like randomly during the yeah. day when the main stages aren't full, like just for a bit. But they've loads of local bands and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. they've loads, of, but I, I, I didn't see one piece of live music. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It was just DJs. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. that's what I mean. But then we left, we kind of left around the time that like main stage had kicked off, but we were in another area. Who was that playing? Point. I don't even know the lineup. Denise Chyla was playing last night, Who's and then that? Megan the Stallion. Oh, okay. Um, and then Dermot Kennedy were the headliners. Right. Shocker. And then Shocker. today... <laughs> I know. I am shocking. But, but the thing is that, like, I didn't know this as well, that they have acts that go on really late into the night. Yeah. Doesn't it not finish till, like, 12? No, the acts... Some acts start at 2 a.m. Fuck off. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not like, oh, oh some acts start at 12. Guys. It's like some, some acts start at, like, 2. Jesus. Yeah, crazy. So, and it's weird. I didn't actually, Reese Creed, shout out to Reese. I bumped into him and he was explaining like how the timings and stuff are done because he was like, oh, do you know that, um, oh, I can't remember the act. It's today. Was it Becky Hill? No, Amory has 45 minutes on the stage. And then the headliner is someone, oh, uh, what, what's that band? Picture this. Yeah. Have an hour and a half. Oh God. And he was like, are they a headliner? Yeah. They are in EP's eyes. And she was like, he, he was like, but are they a fucking, in comparison to like Anne Marie? Yeah. Do you know, 45 minutes Anne Marie, or do you want an hour and a half picture this? People go, it's the same with Dermot Kennedy. People go <clears> mad <throat> for picture this. I don't get it, personally. They're just not my cup of tea, but. See, I know they were huge right before COVID, but everyone I know that had tickets, because their concerts got postponed. Yeah. I've never seen so many poxy picture this tickets up for grabs. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was selling their tickets. Everyone. Mm. Everyone was selling their tickets for that gig. Like my whole Instagram was people selling tickets for that gig. I was like, okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was very strange. Well, obviously they need to support the Irish <clears throat> acts. Like we, that, that's like, you know, fair enough. But yeah. I'm just, I, I personally don't get it. And like you say, I would have just thought for a festival, you would be thinking 
the kind of international acts would be getting b- a bit more of a time to shine. I, th- that's, stage, I thought like. that. I thought that way. I just thought the other way. I would have been like, picture this for forty five minutes on the main stage. Yeah, Anne Marie for an hour and a half. Yeah. Mm, it's the way then, it's always been maybe they're just maybe trying the demand to is greater for, yeah no yeah. which is fair enough again like they're just not my cup of tea but yeah it just to know, me it seems people strange. do go ape shit for them like people love picture this yeah, yeah, and Dermot yeah. Kennedy they just yeah. go ape shit for them so tomorrow so today is Becky Hill is playing she was she was announced very last minute as well there was loads of people who were announced super last minute mm. like very very last minute um so Becky Hill and Marie are playing today Picture this, they're obviously playing as a headliner. Mm. I can't remember who else. And then on Sunday, so I'm going tomorrow. Mm. And tomorrow seems like the best day. Is that when all the podcasts and stuff like that are? No, the podcasts are on today as Constantly. well. Constantly. But not any that I would be mad about. Yeah. Tomorrow, so tomorrow in the comedy tent, Shane, Daniel Byrne and Killian Sunderman. Oh, amazing. So 100% going to see them. My therapist goes with me are on the main stage. That's which is fucking unreal. savage. That is I was dead. like, that is going to be absolutely Savage. and That's they deserve so it they're good. fucking killing it to yeah. show them um and then the what do you call it the uh, snow patrol and Ar- um they're big snow patrol and arctic monkeys huge right, tomorrow yeah. Right, okay. yeah 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 so it's a good that's a good day yeah it's a good mix of Very people good. that i actually want to see Brilliant. emma doran's on today oh i love her she's killing it as well at the minute today is saturday by the way guys she, but, um, yeah, yeah <laughs> today is saturday so yeah so it is um it's a real kind of I actually much I, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would right yeah now an EP like from some of the people that I follow it's such a variation of ages as well oh like kids that's and another thing I meant to say it was full of families yeah but Sunday's apparently the family day right okay because again I was with my mate Ali and she was like it's mad I've never seen so many kids here on a Friday and she was like they're always here on Sundays I'm just not used to it. but there's so much to do for a family yeah there's yeah. so much like the amount of setup that goes into it is insane yeah but um, yeah, I much, I much, I enjoyed it so much more than I thought I would. Very good. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Might give that a little <clears throat> look. Don't the tickets go on sale like in October? Christmas. Oh, I thought it, it was Christmas. Christmas. I, thought I thought it was, it was like Christmas. straight after EP for the next year. Maybe it is. Yeah, and that's because you're buying it blind, like yeah. without knowing who the fuck is going to be yeah. there. I know you just have to hope that it's a good lineup. Yeah. But I think you're gonna. It depends on who you go with. But I think you're gonna have the crack. I do. What we see loads of people selling their electric tickets the week off. Yeah, the week off. Because, like. Well, sometimes when the lineup is announced, I see people like selling them, and I'm like, surely it's it. Because I was trying to it's think more the experience it. rather yeah. than the lineup as well. Like, because like, as you say, like the grounds of it. Yeah, honestly, it was yesterday because it was still it wasn't raining, so it was so lovely to just wander and like yeah. look at everything and look at the setup of everything and like actually see all the little crafty bits and see there was a porridge workshop. You know what I mean? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Amazing. Like, I love that, you know? Yeah, yeah. An attaching workshop, and I was like, this is cool. That would be good. Yeah, that's very know. cool. Little bits and bobs. Just condolences on the fucking weather for today. Like it's a real pity that this week has been absolutely phenomenal, and this is this is what ends up happening. But you know what? Somebody said during the week, like we're always complaining about the rain and the weather in Ireland. Now, obviously, the west of Ireland is completely different from the east and the southeast. The southeast, because they were saying like three hundred and sixty-five days of the year. I think it rains. Like two hundred and sixty something, but that's more so in the west. In yeah. the east of Ireland, it only rains like a hundred days a year, and it just so happened to be this weekend. And we are constantly like giving week, out. I feel like every electric picnic weekend is is a washout. It's all washout, yeah, yeah. Mucky wellies, the whole. But the rest of September will be beautiful. Watch this now. Be beautiful. Beautiful. I don't think um, people at those things I'll give a shit about the weather because it's an experience isn't it it's just like fuck it we won't let this rain on our parade it's not exactly. oxygen I'll tell you that lads no exactly. <laughs> like, I was like this is very different to oxygen <laughs> <laughs> you can this, this is too. very different to oxygen <laughs> oh stop jumping up and down in muddy puddles fucking bunch of Peppa Pigs this episode what's that about so I had the inspo yesterday when I was up on the on the Ferris wheel um, shout out to the girl when I was getting off the Ferris wheel who said, That's your one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Love you. I love it. That's your yeah. one. That's your one. Yeah, and yeah. pointed. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, love that. So love you, whoever you are. Um, and it is, it was me. It was your one. Yeah. Yeah. It was gas. Imagine she was like, That's your one, who? I don't know. <laughs> or it was like so called out somebody else. Imagine, that's yeah. your one, who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's always the way But yeah So I was like Do you remember when you were younger The carnival Oh And it was such a It was like the excitement around it 
it was a real stamp in the year. It was, yeah. After a scare, it always happened in September. It was a real. It was always September for some reason. So I feel like they're open. They're like they're in Bray all summer. Places like that. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. And but around this area. But around this area, around the Borbs. Yeah. It's September. So I remember before, well, especially in like the Dublin 15 area. So the first one I remember was the Little Chef. Yeah, on the Navan Road. On the Navan Road. It yeah. was always in September. And I always remember, it's something about, it's like, I think there's something about a September sky. Because I remember going to the Little Chef and it used to always be, you know, when the sun was setting, it goes down a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. But the clouds are always like them ripple kind of clouds. Yeah. It's so, it's a fucking one of the weirdest memories that I have from I remember being at the carnival and looking up and going, oh, there's now the September sky. Oh, <laughs> oh very good. September 16 sky year old me. Welcome to the Weather Channel. That's September, That's September sky, sky, sky right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. But it was just kind of a place to hang out because you never had enough money to kind of get on everything. No, you didn't. You had to pick your rides carefully. You had to, yeah, you needed to really... um to pick our battles was that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah to choose your battles yeah, for yeah. sure yeah you definitely did it was a real no looking back when you're younger i i thought it was massive i thought it was huge yeah so i don't think it was no i don't think so like it they were always thrown together these things actually belong in the back of trucks which is so fucking weird like obviously we, there's a lot of dodgy stories about fun fair yeah rides in general we won't go into any specifics because like you know, obviously people get injured and stuff like that, but I, there's something about like a one, like, you know, like a team park. I trust them more, obviously, because they're not being they're there all the folded time. up into, yeah, into vans and shifted the next town. Like like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. Now, obviously there has to be some sort of regulation and checks and stuff like that, but I just, it's just so fucking dodgy. It's mad. I think that was another thing because when I was at EP, I thought it was gas. How they've all like food trucks and savage food there now, mm. and I was like, again, gone are the days of the burger and chips from the back of a van, the back of a van, a chipper van, a chipper van, mm. yeah, and they would always be absolutely manky. Oh, green, yeah, with the grease, like. yeah, disgusting. Um, <clears throat> always for some reason, the lads who was doing the waltzers was British. Yeah. What was that about? All right, darling. Yeah. We're like, all right, babe. Do we go a bit King. faster? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Yeah. How many? Yeah. And then to just get on the back of it and spin you around. But do you remember one of your friends would always be the more confident one who'd like try and flirt with the guy who was, and they'd be like, right, I'll give you an extra spin. Yeah. I know. Fuck's sake. And we, like, so and if like, we were around <laughs> 14 to 16, right? If we were yeah. around 14 to 16, they were always like 17 or 18. Yeah. I feel like they were older early 20s, yeah. Maybe they were. I think at that point I was like, oh. I think they just looked a bit smaller and younger because of all the smoking. So it just stumped yeah. their throats. <laughs> they were probably in their fault. Always smoking a fag. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Like, Do you remember when so... there'd be a fag hanging outside of their mouth as yeah. they locked you into your little thing? I was like, oh, this is safe. I know. <laughs> And I wouldn't mind, but like you were saying with the like the, the kind of leader of the group flirting with your man, like yeah. the fucking state you're going the around state. in a walk. The state, like I'd say they were like, go away yeah, you <laughs> with your dragon printed jeans. <laughs> yeah, and your butterfly top. No, it wasn't even that though. When they were spinning it around, like you were literally glued to the fucking chair. Like you were like, <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine the fucking state of Asia? <laughs> and you're like, oh, he's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> you're stuck to the chair. <laughs> Hey, you're trying to wink uh, and like, as your eye gets glued up. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I like if you if you so much as try to take your head away from the back, oh, of it it get glued smacked, down. But you'd be like, oh no! But it, sometimes you get stuck in position. So if you like lean to the side, you'd be stuck leaning to the side until you kind of slow like, down. Oh, this is fast. Oh, yeah. it's getting fast. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't oh. know if I like this. I don't know if I like it's, this. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> it was the G force of it. The G's. It's the G's. I'm stuck to the back of the G. And God bless if you were if there was a little bit of room and you were oh, so you flung, flung, so wrong around the seat. Oh, stop! And then you'd always have there was like get off. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. Get real thanks. Do you want my number? <laughs> real. I've no credits. So I'll send you a call. Me. 
Oh, stop. <laughs> what was the limit on them? Was it 10 or 15 a day? I thought you could only do five. I'll send you three commies. If three it's commies if it's urgent. It's, it's urgent. <laughs> never not urgent when you need it. <laughs> send me a Never ever not urgent. Oh, stop. Yeah. And then you had obviously the ones that were like, you know, the octopus. You sit in the little chair. There was two ears. You'd be like, this is mad kitty. Up and down. This is mad kitty. This one is. And then you would. I, I feel like the, the controller of that was English as well. I was like, hello, scream if you want to go for <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I loved the tunes. I loved the tunes. They were like, always... Baby, you're all that I want. <laughs> they were fucking bangers. Absolute bangers. I, me, we went on the Peppa Pig fun day up in Ratwood recently. And there was like a Dumbo thing. Yeah. A Dumbo machine. Oh, I love the Dumbo the machines, thing. yeah. So there was like a pedal in it. And if you wanted to go up... So you could kind of be flat just going around if you had yeah. like a little one with you. Yeah. Or if you wanted Dumbo to rise up into the air, there was like a, an accelerator pedal and it lifted you up. This thing was really fucking high. I was expecting Bobby to kind of freak. He kept his fucking foot on at the full time. I was freaked out with the high. But it was the music they were playing. Um, What's that fucking song that uh, Little Mix did with the lads? You know, the, oh, the Spanish one. Bailando or whatever the... F- no, that's... No, that's... That's, 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 sorry, that's Enrique. That's Enrique. So when I looked in around, yeah, that I one. Closer and I said, Bailando. <laughs> yeah. What is this? I don't know what. Oh, I don't Guillermo? know. Guillermo? Anyway, it, that's somebody's name. Guillermo's. No, Bailermo. It's got a B. It's like Guillermo. Bailamo. It's got a B. Bailamo, is it? I don't Bailamo. know. Anyway, they were blaring it. And I was like, oh my God, throw back to all the carnivals that I went to. And they were blasting the tunes. And I don't know. It was kind of like that same vibe. You know, when you're. What was it? Reggaeton Lento. Reggaeton Lento. Reggaeton. Who <laughs> uh, was the it's the NCO or something? Is that the, yeah. the blokes? Yeah. So I was like, God, throw back to it when like you be it in the carnival and the music was blaring. But it was that kind of vibe that you know when you were a teenager and you were in the back of your man and dad's car and a sad song came on and you pretend and you'd you look out the film. window and you'd be like, you were pretending you were either either in a film and you were the main character or you were in a music video. Yeah, and you put your hands up the window. Yeah. And it was so dramatic. Yeah. I feel like when you were on one of them rides and a deadly song was playing, you were really into it. You, you were, were like, like, I'm on the... I'm the main character. In, I'm like, <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, sorry. Just... Memory unlocked. Do you remember that song, The Way? No. Oh my God. And it was set in a carnival. Was it? Oh, and the whole video was that I used to think that I was in that video when I'd go oh, to the carnival. stop. Show you the way. What are you talking about? I will get it. Hold on. I'm going to find it for you guys. Give me two seconds. All right, kill. Anyway, guys. <laughs> I'll keep this going. There's two fucking carnivals in Finglas at the moment. Yeah, you were saying that. Go on. So, I, the way... Okay, so we were gone from the Little Chef one, right? That used to go from Little Chef to Swords. And I don't know where it went after it because it obviously went out in my vicinity. But now, then it used to go from... The Millennium Park, which it doesn't seem to be in the Millennium Park anymore, to Swords. So I think the Little Chef one got moved to the Millennium Park and Blanche. And I hope they were like, and where did it go? Right, that makes sense. But it did show up uh, in Finglas generally around that time as well. And it was always across the road from Charlestown Shopping Centre. It was in the kind of external car yeah. park across the road. Now that's after been bought and they're going to be building apartments there. So they have the, you know, the wooden separators like it has like john paul construction on it so that nobody can get into the site yeah so i was like oh they won't have it there this year because that's a it's a construction site now and i didn't know how far along they were with the the whole thing whether they were still in planning stages obviously they're like something's going to be happening if the borders are up so they there's a carnival in on the jamestown road now behind foss kind of near poppin tree Mm -hmm. so i was like oh that's where that one must be now because they they threw it up last friday and i was like oh that's because we can see the, the Ferris wheel from our house or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so that's where that is. Couldn't go COVID, whatever we were planning on going around. Just like, I don't, how did they have so many goldfish? I don't know. We're probably going to like win a goldfish for Bobby. But then I was driving, dropping Bobby to crash yesterday and I was driving past Charlestown. Load of fucking posters for a family amusement park going into the construction site, getting set up this weekend. So now there's two. I thought the one on the Jamestown Road was just after moving location because of the construction site. But there's obviously after letting these people set up their, their carnival before construction starts, and there's two. Do you know what that's called? Supply and demand. Madness. 
I was like, never going to be in competition with each other. Now, it seems to be more of a, f- I, I don't know, it's not built yet. There's only one thing, you know, like the pirate, not, it's not a pirate ship, but it's like similar. It just goes back and forth, but it's like a big circle mm-hmm. where people like sit in a circle and it swings back and forth. Oh, I, f- f- it's terrifying. That one is terrifying. It's, ter- it's very scary. That one is terrifying. I first it went nearly looks like it's going to go in Wexford over. and I was like, I'm going to pass away. Yeah, it's, no, it it's quite um, terrifying. Yeah. So, yeah, like the, that one kind of obviously doesn't look really family orientated, but it's like it's being marketed as a family amusement fun day, and it's like midway getting through set up. So I'm like, okay, now we have the choice of two. Lovely, great, nice, madness. Go to Bingless if you want a bit of fun. If you're not an EP, if you want two fun days, <laughs> yeah. If you're, not, <laughs> if you're not an EP, you don't need to go. Literally two within two miles of each other. It makes sense. You could walk from one to the other. It makes sense. You know, I get it. Great crack. I get it. Um, so I'm going to pop this on. Oh yeah, this is the song that I used to pretend that I was in the music video of when okay. I go to the fair. Lovely. And I think you'll remember it. Oh yes. And these songs would always be the tunes that would be playing. Oh yeah. Old school. Stop. Why not be my stopper? Like a rain. Oh yeah, thing. that's a rain. That, that's rain that in the rain? background. That's oh, the rain. Yeah. 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 Such, and the piano <laughs> the keyboard <laughs> Oh yeah. Stop, yeah And it was all set in the It's in a, the, it's old skill Yeah And I'd be like Walking through like Stop. Baby blue combat Yeah Wearing a bandana Wearing a, wearing a bandana It's studded A diamante bandana No yeah. it's the blue one With the like That kind of design You know that Romany design so like you put your bandana on and you'd be just oh, you'd be protecting your scalp from the sun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like you'd be looking savage. Yeah, your exactly. pants stick could have an orange line on the bandana. Oh, stop! It was manky. Yeah, never put it in the wash. Too busy wearing it. Too <laughs> couldn't get it off my head. Sleeping in it at one point. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell! So then, like, so you had your your waltzers, you had your bumper cars, yeah, which you also had a fella hanging out the back of the cars with a fag. Absolutely risking his life to be on the back of the bumper cars. Why? Why did he do that? Yeah, I actually don't know. How was he going to regulate do anybody? Do you think it seemed a lot more dangerous to us when we were younger than it actually was, though? Like, these people loaded this stuff into vans and went town to town. They know they knew this like the back of their hands, you know? They, no, experts. They weren't getting in no, there thinking right. Louis Hamilton, like, rallying it around. I know, but, like, if you and your mate got into the bumper cars, you were fucking a chicken, plain chicken, gunning for each other. But if I, he got smacked in the middle of that... Yeah, but they went very slow, Jen. I think we thought that they went... Yeah, a lot quicker true. than they did. I used to think I was a proper rapid driver. Because we had never drove. Yeah. And so if, that was the difference. Sometimes if you spun the wheel enough, it, it whack it into reverse for you. Yeah. And you'd be like, yeah, yeah. look at me, went doing a three-point <laughs> turn. Thought I was rapid. <laughs> but do you remember how aggressive, if you went with lads, do you remember how aggressive they get in the bumper? You'd be like, would you lads, do you remember going go-karting with lads? And you'd be like, please chill out. I'm just trying to have so, a bit yeah, of fun here. Yeah, yeah. No, the proper whip lads. <laughs> I don't want to end up flipped. Yeah. I actually don't know how these pl- places have insurance or like licenses. Yeah. So fucking dangerous. Yeah. Do you ever go to the carnival in, no, it was a constant carnival in Mosny? No. Do you ever go to Mosny? That was a great one. Once, I feel I went once when I was younger. Yes, was it Mosny or was it called something different then? No, it was always Mosny. No, it was Mosny. Yeah, Some it was people Mosny. called it Butlins. No, it was Mosny. Yeah, it was Mosny. Yeah, Mosny is Mosny. our yeah, yeah, yeah. is our yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. like people were like, yeah, that's yeah. the Irish. No, I have been to Mosny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <clears throat> that had a, a proper like that was a proper culture of carnival. Like they had an actual room but that was mm. built. So that's different to carnival because that one was actually built in. No, I think they actually could put oh. them on the back of trucks. Like they oh. had the sticky wall. They had the, oh, you know, the, the house of fun. With the the house of fun was... Ske- helter Skelter at the back of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, they had a ghost train. Do you remember the ghost train? There was a ghost train in Scaries. And it terrified me when I was younger. It, they were so stupid. Yeah. But I remember so being like, stupid. scary, spooky. Like if you, could you imagine, right, somebody coming, say, from Orlando, who like goes to Universal Studios and Disneyland on the reg, coming over and going to an Irish carnival and getting on a ghost train. <laughs> I brought my American cousins over. <laughs> They're going to love this. They're, you're going to love this ghost train. It's, oh, so, it's so cringy. Yeah. And Fun. then you'd always have some fucker that was waiting in the back thinking he was walking in like 
haunted spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Went to jump. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm going to get farm phobia one day. Sitting at the door before it opens. Rawr! I have a you know five year mean? plan. Five year plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Five year plan. Now I he's start run- here. Now, I work my way up. Now he's running around haunted spectacular with a chainsaw. Fair <laughs> play. Fair you know know play. It's such a moving yeah. up in the world. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, come on, Chad and Mackenzie, you're going to love this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the ghost train. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but it is good for like, say like Bobby's age. Yeah, you know? but I wasn't Bobby's age on it, Jen. I wasn't Bobby's age on it. You're just a little pussy ass I bitch, think, Carla. That's what I mean. I think I was definitely my teens being like, this is a bit spoopy. Are we showing off in front of lads? I feel like girls definitely, did that. Definitely. When they were trying to get, you know. Didn't even know that, like, that, like, like but ah! I, it's like showing off in front of lads. Didn't speak, though. Never spoke. So. Yeah, 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 that's true. Showing off in front of lads by just being like, yeah. what? Like, hmm? Can I admit something? Well, I never got on a sticky wall. I did. I, I never trusted them. They were fell. Yeah. They made me feel so sick. I'll never forget the one that I went on at that carnival there at the Little Chef. Right. And I felt so ill. I never trusted them. I was just like, how did they stay up there? How? Did they force? I know, but at the time I was like, no, absolutely not getting on the sticky wall. Really? I couldn't believe it. Yeah, no, I just didn't trust them. I I never understood that because you know the way the platform lowers. Yeah. Because you stand, you get in, you stand where you're going to stand, That's and right. then the platform lowers and it's what it spins, and yeah. then the platform lowers once you've kind of built Stuck up enough, to the wall. yeah, built up enough force there. Yeah. But I never understood that. I remember being like, "Are they just going to drop us?" Yeah, I know. Yeah. Are they That's just going to drop I us at one point. Like, we on our knees work? here. It's going to be the worst. Yeah. yeah. See, and then I suppose I never really understood that at the time. So when I was looking at the sticky wall, because sometimes it tilted. So you were kind yes, of going up, I do remember up and that. down. Yeah. So it tilted and all of a sudden, I'm after seeing my mates going in, right? They're standing on the floor, they're at the wall, it starts spinning, they're stuck to the wall and then it tilts so I can get a good proper view of them and there's nothing at their feet. So I'm like, they're after moving up. <laughs> that's what I used to think. I didn't know that the floor lowered. Oh, so that's why. That's why so would you just stand me inside in. like a little loser? I'd hold the bag, yeah. Sometimes I, like, no, I got on most things, but the sticky wall, it was just a, it was a line for me that I wouldn't cross. <laughs> And it was at every carnival. Sticky Wall is at every single carnival. That is so funny. I feel like I'm going to miss out on something that everybody... There's another one. It's called... I think it's called the American football thing, but are, are like a rugby themed thing. It's like an American football in the middle of it. Yes. And yeah, the waltzers yeah. on a circle thing. Yeah. And then that tilts as well. So you're basically spinning on a circle that's spinning on a tilt. Yeah. Like... It's and a lot. Especially... For, for, all right, in a carnival... Right, that's all right. You're in the open air. See in Thunderland when you get so close to that fucking ceiling. That's fair. I've never been to Thunderland. What? Yeah. Carla. Never been. Never been to Thunderland. Nope. It's basically a carnival. Don't intend on going either. Stuff is indoors. Yeah. Actual, that's what I never liked about it. Yeah, it's actually. Remember the big proximity. fair at the RDS? Is it Christmas time? No. Big one in Simmons Court. The massive one, yeah. I think it was I think it was Christmas time. Huge fair. Funderland always opens in oh, was it RDS after it's like after Stevens' Day or on oh. Stevens' Day. Am I thinking about the one in Betty's Town? What am I thinking about? That is Funderland, the one out in Betty's Town. No, that's Fantasia. Fantasia. I'm thinking about Fantasia. Never been to Fantasia, like I have a- been to Funderland. Ah, okay. There you go. <laughs> I've been to Funderland. That's what I'm talking Fantasia's about. Fantasia's kind of shit crack. Fantasia, I, think, I, feel like I have not been to Funderland because uh, I'd say people are listening to this being like you fucking liar. I saw you there having a cigarette. <laughs> I was like, who has not got robbed at Funderland? Hello, like, <laughs> yeah. where have you been? Oh, one of my friends got robbed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows who somebody. Yeah, I don't think I've been robbed at Funderland, but I definitely maybe I lost some. Yeah, his definitely, wallet was robbed. Yeah. I definitely know somebody who's yeah. been robbed. Everybody knows somebody who's been robbed at Funderland. I got stuck on a ride. One of the outdoor rides in Funderland before. What do you mean stuck? It did t- ride shut down. No. Yeah. Now it wasn't that. It was. It wasn't a scary one. It was. I think it was just too big to be indoors. I feel like it wasn't. Um, like it wasn't like the drop zone. That. Yeah. I've like, I've spoken about it before, but I'll go back to that in a sec. They have the like the drop zone and then the, the Ferris wheel outside and then there was another one. I don't think it was like the swings. You know the swings that kind of go. It's like a carousel. Yeah, swings. yeah, yeah. I it hated those. I always thought they'd snap and you'd fly. Yeah, it was something similar to that though. Yeah. Um, and it stopped and we got stuck on it for about half an hour. Yeah, it was when I was with my old fella and me and his sister got on it. We were stuck on it for ages. That would be annoying. At the start, it was funny. 
and then it gets uncomfortable and, and then, then you're a like, bit like okay there's this you can't laugh about this any longer yeah and then like they you know the way that the bars come down and lock you in yeah they were locked like we couldn't there was nothing we could do there you go yeah so we were stuck interesting that drop zone outside Wonderland is what gave me my fear of ledges i made the fucking stupid mistake of you know like so it's like a a big stick and there's like seats either side of it there's four yeah. sets of seats four sets of four you all sit in them and then you get brought up this big stick and then basically gravity takes like place and you just drop and then sometimes they stop you in the middle and shoot you back up but i made the mistake of looking behind me at all the mechanics of it and ever since then, I my stomach drops anytime I'm on like a ledge or like a height. I don't know yeah. if I'm afraid of heights, but it's a specific type of fear that I get. And every time I think about that moment, my stomach still drops. Aww. I don't know what it is. I it was it's just trauma. I should have fucking. I shouldn't have looked at it. I just looked behind me, and it was all the mechanics, and it was up really high, and just fucking freaked me out. But like you can see all the people swimming pills when you get on that. In the back in the back gardens in Dublin Four. There you go. Pretty good. Great little view of our houses. <laughs> got to see a lot. Got to see got to see a lot. A lot. A lot, a lot. Don't really like the Ferris wheel either. No, Ferris wheel, it can be boring. I did go on one yesterday though, so it can be boring. I like to just put if you look down you're a bit like Bleh. That's the yeah, it's yeah. The, it's more so that. Yeah. It's when you look down you're like um. really mechanical things that are supposed to keep you safe being up that height freaks me out. Yeah. Fair. Could never go on the, the London Eye around like mm-hmm. Don't think. London Eye is not bad, it's boring. You're in like a pod as yeah, well, Yeah, it's boring. You? It is unbelievably boring. Did Dublin try and do something like that and it got taken down? Outside the O2? Oh my God. Did they? Yeah. Why, why did it get taken down? It was because it was shit. But you're the spire shite and that's not something It was it the Dublin Eye or something. Did we have a Dublin we Eye? We absolutely had one of those. I don't think it was quite as high tech as the London Eye. The Did- London Eye is expensive, by the way. The Dublin Eye, let me just... London Eye is like, what, £30 a person? Oh, God. Yeah, it's expensive. I feel like there's more to look at. Like, with the Dublin Eye, it was just like, you're looking at cranes. Wheel of Dublin, Wikipedia, here we go. Yeah, it definitely was there. Yeah. Also known as the Revolver. I don't remember this. Okay. Was a transportable Ferris wheel installation in the Dublin Docklands and North Wall area of Dublin, commissioned by Harry Crosby. Anyway, um... <laughs> Thanks for telling Operated us by special. World Tourist Attractions and it opened to the public in July 2020, uh, 2010 and it was closed and dismantled 16 months later in November 2011. Wow, that really went places, Yeah, it was right besides the, the O2 or the 3 Arena. Interesting. Yeah. So, I don't know if it was supposed to stay up and everybody was like, this is shit, take it down. True. Could have happened easily. 60 metres high. Hmm. It was moved to York. Them Brits are always at it. They're all they love yeah. a, they love an attraction, a carnival attraction. But it, it doesn't really say why it was taken down. I feel like people were saying it was shit. <laughs> Jen's like, I've decided this is what I did. No, that, that was the commentary around. Like that was the okay. discourse. It was like the Dublin, uh, the Dublin eye shine. Yeah, because look, it was pods. That was pods as well. Oh wow! It was, it was probably too expensive. It was probably a million euro. Yeah, stupid like. Which we were never paying for. Anyway, ask some of you guys for your favourite carnival memories. Mm. Um, and you delivered. So I have one here saying the carnival. The drinking, the fights, the tunes. The fights. Do you remember the fights? D- not- Just groups of lads getting into scraps and everybody I do remember- circling around them and being like, love it. Well, you see, this is the thing. It was rival gangs would show up at the same time. As I was saying oh. to you, the one with the, the little chef. Yeah. So you would have people from like Fingless. Showing up and sitting beside somebody from Deer Park <laughs> on a fucking, like, a ride. And, you know, they'd no choice because this was the central carnival and the magic carpet doesn't judge. Yeah. Do you know, you, yeah. did, you were just stuck. Yeah. So this is, and I think this is how a lot of fights happened as well. There was fights happening between people who didn't even know each other. It was the same. And, like, I remember my ma being like, oh, no, it's so dangerous. Just be very careful. Make sure that, like, you have... Pockets with zips and stuff yeah, like that. Pockets with zips. Yeah, yeah, like I was. It was a real fucking thing. Like it was the fear and the like the ruffians that show up. There you go. Mm-hmm. Gas. So there's the fights. Uh, she said one story when I was sixteen. Me and the fine thing were on the waltzers. <laughs> we're making eyes at each other. Ah, stop. <laughs> he was about twenty when he came over to spin our seat. He handed me his number on a card. <gasps> I thought I was the shit. He kept coming back then to spin us. Do you remember when they'd spin you? Um. 
then spinning on the noggin didn't mix so well and I ended up projectile vomiting all over the place disgusted with myself oh god that is so funny it was always the way so you 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 think they were in their 20s for some reason at my at my young age I thought that they were you know the oldest people ever at 17 no no (laughs) that's why I thought they would have been early 20s just to be yeah I feel like that's yeah, I'm not surprised at that. But it like that. It was the fucking face you were probably making when you were <laughs> stuck on the wall, sir, as well, while he was spinning you. It's just... just spinning on the wall. And you'd be like, woohoo! Uh, absolutely glued to the fucking chair. Glued to the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you de- what I think I look like versus what I actually look like. One of them sort of moments. And then there was always horror stories of people puking and then other people get- getting the backlash of the-, the puke because they were on a spinning vehicle. Do you ever hear them stories? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of loads. And you'd be like, oh. Like everybody getting puke on them because they're on a spinning vehicle. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, if you were being spun around in a Yaris, you'd still feel like <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't yeah. exactly be peachy, would you? No. No, in a really convertible Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I have someone saying, birds, Bizarre comes to Tralee for the rose and brings the waltzers. But the year I met my now husband, he actually worked for them a couple of years in a row. Just while they were in town and he still talks about the drama of it. People having affairs with other people's wives and husbands or daughters. <gasps> he used to be the one to clean down the seats when people threw up on the ride. And by clean, it got a quick splash of water from a bucket before the next person got on. Absolutely horrified me, but I got on the rides for free for two to three years. Oh, nice. Look, you made the most out of it. I'm, Absolutely. Yeah, good for you. I'm not surprised with that with the splash of the bucket for the puke. Yeah, the, there was always one There was always a wet on. one. There was always a wet waltzer. Not a wet waltzer and one that smelled like puke. Yeah, yeah, there was. But the kind of whole area smelled like puke, no? No, I feel like there were certain certain areas, if you were unlucky enough, you would get on a puke. You yeah. Oh. The chopper's out. Is that feds? Yeah, come on, Bobby. Wait for them to. to it's very pass. low, isn't it? He's obviously chasing someone. Oh, okay. I don't think they just applied the chopper for the crack. I don't think they just came up here to see hey, <laughs> to say what's up. No. Um, someone said about fourteen. I got stoned and I went to the carnival. Got on the mega drop. That's the mega drop. That's the mega drop. Yeah. Yeah, and it fucking broke. Got stuck at the top for thirty minutes. The stony giggles turned to tears. Got on mega drop recently with my ten year old, and I had an awful flashback. Yeah, yeah. That, now when I was zero, <laughs> it has the fucking power to give you PTSD. It does. Yeah, there There's go. another one. Um, it's not quite the mega drop. It's like a long stick. So there's seats at the top and seats at the bottom, but it's just two sets of seats, and it's just a big, huge spinning. Like it, it spins around and you can go upside down and all in it. That one, I don't know what it's called, but it's like an arm. Yeah. Yeah. I, they have that at um, Electro Picnic. And I was like, no thanks. Oh God. And you're huge. just, you're just free swinging there. The only thing that's keeping you stuck in is a belt, a, a metal belt. The belt and the fucking, the cog that's in the middle of these two yeah. arms that are swinging around and you can go upside down in them. There's always one massive main attraction at the thing and it's always the most expensive as well. It could be like a tenner to get on. Yeah. It's usually at the entrance. Yeah, it's the, the tenor wheel. ones. Yeah, yeah. And you'd be like, oh, I'm not fucking paying for that. Fucking not getting fucking on that. For that. There was never any queues for them. This stringy ball, that was always a tenor. That's yeah, that one, one was the expensive one. Yeah. yeah, that one was the expensive And you'd be like, ooh. Have you ever seen the fucking videos of people? Yeah, they are that. very funny. The American ones in particular, because they're even higher and even better. And these ones were probably like, what, 10 meters high? And I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. I'm trying to think, did I get on one of them in the old. Do you know an international drive? Yeah. Is it like the, is it called Old Town or something? There's like, there's a, one of them balls. I don't know what the place is called, but it's like this um old team. It's like, it's like one street, but it's like a place in, on international drive. It's just a lot of shops and a lot of like, restaurants and stuff like that. But there's one of them slingshot balls at, right at the very end of it. I can't remember if I got on it or not. Interesting. I know too the lads that I went to it got on it and we were watching the video thinking it was hilarious. I can't remember if I got on it or not. If I did, I completely wiped that out of my memory. There you go. I feel like I did get on it. Okay. So I was like, fuck it, this is my time. I'll take your word. I think I did. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. I think we'll finish the rest of this up over on our Patreon. If you guys haven't joined, please do. It is six euro a month. You get five additional episodes. Out of those episodes, we do everything. And it was funny because I was actually recording with Fanula this week mm. for her new podcast. 
Oh yeah, um, best of luck with that for now, eh? Top yeah. of the flops. Yeah, top of the flops. Well, it's actually called flop culture, and I kept calling it flop nation. She was like, you and some other person kept calling it flop oh, nation. Oh really? Yeah, but it's not. It's called flop culture. It's great. It's out now. Um, she discusses pop culture, what's going on in the week, and then she also discusses um, like each guest picks a flop, and yeah. you discuss your flop. Love that with her. Um, and it can be flops from movies to albums to actual pop stars themselves to to loads of different things so it's cool go check it out Vanula is a friend of the pod she's been here many many times but we were talking and she was like so Carla's here from the unpopular opinion and she was like if you're not on their Patreon you're getting half the story she was like I'm just saying oh, it you're only yeah. getting half the story she was Love like I'm that. gonna go as far as to say it, <laughs> like, Love, it. Thanks. Love that so that is the perfect way of describing it. And it's the start of the month, so financially, it's probably the best time for you to join. Loads of fucking people joined the other day. We didn't even promote it. What happened? I don't know. Uh, thanks. T- thanks very much. Thanks. thanks very much. I don't know where you came from, but I like that you came. Thanks a million. Somebody Set the reminder give, on your phone. Love it. Somebody must have given us a shout out. Do you remember back in the day? Do you know, somebody give me a shout out. Somebody somebody shout out. Where, <laughs> where are these people coming from? This is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Uh, so my stomper of the week is going to be the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I think it has to be. That's true. Yeah. Have and you got an unpopular opinion of the week? I'm sure I do. Let me just find one. <laughs> I actually don't. I thought I had one saved. My unpopular opinion is that festivals don't deserve to be stylish okay right it's not the right environment for these outfits for this garb i get you yeah the the correct outfit is a t-shirt some shorts a Mm. pair of wellies and a hoodie yeah the hoodie wrapped around your waist for when it's hot the hoodie on you for in the evenings when it gets a little bit cooler yeah the reason why you wear the shorts is because you don't want to have too much material because they're going to get minging so you might as well just have the bare legs that are going to get minging you know, you can wash them down. Bit mm-hmm. of water, you know. Mm-hmm. Shorts won't get too affected. Minimise. Yeah. Minimise. I think we should set a standard. Yeah. Just I think we need to go back. I don't think we need to evolve. Yeah. I think we need to de-evolve. Right. I think we need to go back to, to what we used to wear. Yeah. A poncho, if you're fancy. Mm. A hoodie, a t-shirt, shorts and wellies. And that's you done. That's actually a good chat. They yeah. don't no, deserve, they don't deserve your, your, your garb. Like they don't deserve these get ups. That's very true. You know, they're like, not the right place. Outfit changing as well. You're just going to have washing when you come yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Go back. Yeah. Go back That's to where absolutely, it was. I absolutely agree with that. And I have to say my one day at EP, everybody was so casual. Now there was obviously the young ones that were done up to the nines, but everybody else was just like t-shirts and jeans and a, yeah. a little, um, but aren't those people that do Shack like it. RVs and glamping and like they some of the VIPs can get into these don't like I remember watching people's stories years ago from EP and don't they're like Nivea have like shower pods and stuff like that well this year if you're in Pink Moon you have showers mm. there's a sculpt well there's loads of different campsites but this is one of the boutique ones so Pink Moon is actually one that moves from place to place so it's like it's like a british setup so it does like pink moon will be at like festival it'll be at you know yeah all the ones in the uk v and all that other stuff and they have showers and then beside the showers they have like a tent where they have uh, desks and mirrors and stuff and plugs where you can plug in your straightener your hair dryer yeah whatever. yeah and then they've sculpted there this year doing oh. makeup so you can get like quick makeups quick right. yeah quick services so that's pretty cool so there is ways of like being cleaner and being you know not not as festivally but you do have to pay for it because if yeah. you're in pink moon you've paid a bit extra but your tent's there your tent's there set up for you it, it is and the isn't tent, it more of a like a i, f- I remember looking at because year years ago i think it was like 2018 ep was just after finishing it and i got a bit of a notion i was like oh, i need to go to that next yeah. year got pregnant so didn't. Oh, you didn't do that then. You so I didn't got do that. Instead, I got yeah. pregnant, and then I was like, I think I was looking at Pink Moon. I was like, oh, fuck it, like it's a year I'll away. Do it. I can yeah. probably put a bit of money away yeah. a week. Do you know what I mean? And really enjoy because that was one of the things that was po- torn me off going to a festival. I was yeah, like, I don't know if I could hack now. Well, there's like Pink Moon, and then there's yurts, and then there's whatever. But even like Sophie Murray's most stylish girl in Dublin at the moment, probably, and she is there with a puffer jacket. Mm. Shorts and wellies. Yeah. Dead right chick. Do you, know? Do you know? We don't, like, it doesn't deserve your garb. It doesn't. No. No. 
Coachella doesn't even fucking deserve a butcher look. No. Like and I get why people do it. I do understand it's a very generational thing. It's a very young one thing to do. Mm. But it just... I think it's cooler, dare I say. Cooler. Yeah. It's more casually are, you know? Just come out there looking like a scumbag. Yes. Exactly. Get your own heels, tuck them into your wellies, off you go. Yeah. God bless. Love that. Right, I'm going to go now. We're going to record. Go. go. I'll let you go. We're going to record our Patreon. Yeah. And we will talk to you next week. We hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.